Today we are in Mount Dora. It's time for a refresh review, a refresher, if you will, at El Mezcal. You can kind of see it right there. Uh, December of 2022 was the last time we filmed it. And we have been back many times since because in our humble opinion, we think that it's about the best Mexican restaurant in Lake County. Yeah. I would, I would say... I thought you were going to say Mount Dora, but then you went bigger and you said Lake County. Yeah. I mean, I don't disagree. And some people I work with also agree with that. I would say if we had any friends ask us um, of where they should find a good Mexican restaurant, we would point them in the direction of El Mezcal. And we have done that. We've gotten good feedback. Yes, that is accurate. So we thought since it's been a while, maybe some new subscribers haven't gone back that far to watch that one. So let's just show it again and do a refresher. I'm excited, hungry, ready to get some good food. Mm -hmm. Let's go check it out. You have a Waffle House? Don't park over there, Waffle House will yell at you. Um, El Mezcal Mexican restaurant. Of course, there's the big gym over here as well. Usually, Parking's pretty hard to find. Luckily, right now, it doesn't seem too busy, but um, just know that it can be very hard to park here. They do have a front row spot. Very nice car right here. And they have some outdoor seating. Let's see what their hours say. Store hours, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 11 to nine, Friday, 11 to 10, Saturday, 11 to 10, Sunday, 11 to nine. And then if we go in, here's what it looks like. A nice bar over there. We're heading this way to Hey, how you doing? Back over this corner. Look at the lights. They've recently like remodeled in here, I think. Um, restrooms are gonna be back by the bar to the left. And this is what it looks like. They do have a little guacamole person come around for some fresh guacamole. We've got some drinks and the big menu we'll show you. So they bring you the salsa here and then some chips. Timber informed me that what we're gonna do the guac and show that. And and cheese dip. Okay, so yeah, now that the music stopped, I can kind of show this a little better. I love the flooring in here too. It's really nicely decorated, honestly, and then the nice bar up there. Gonna try to talk over the music. Here's a look at their drink menu. We've got, I'm just gonna do two pages at the same time. Did do the half and half tea. They do have milk and chocolate milk. Um, some desserts. That all looks good. Beer. Hello. Good. Yes, yes please. please. Fresh guacamole right here. Mmm. Got margaritas. I've gotten margarita here before and they're good. Tequila, wine, cocktails, Moscow mule down there at the bottom. And then on the back, frozen favorites. Smoothies. Making us some fresh guacamole. Yum. You can get um, jalapenos with the guacamole. We chose to skip that for today, but um, over here we've got seafood, raspberry chipotle salmon. Just kind of scroll down the menu here, talk over the music. Fajitas are always good. We've got fajitas here. Usually we just get the single fajitas and then add some extra tortillas, and that's plenty by the time you eat all the chips and stuff. Here is lunch served Monday to Friday, 11 to 2.30. So a good lunch menu. I like how they have it all outlined, like boxed in just for the lunch, so you can easily look at that. Combination dinners down here. You can read about those. Vegetarian dinners. Some Tex-Mex tacos, fish tacos. Some more tacos. Thank you so much. Down here, a la carte. Always fun to add just a cheese quesadilla to it, like I do. Some sides, kids menu. And then on this side, appetizers, we went with the cheese dip. Keep going down. I have a friend that says the chorizo dip is really good. Enchiladas. Timber said she's gonna try something new tonight, so I probably will too. I'm not sure what. Um, down here, some soups and salads. It's a big menu. 
our locations right here in the middle. Just some more like specials they have. Maybe I can get them all in here. Uh, it might be hard to read, let me just do this. And then over here, steak dishes, burritos, super burrito, chicken dishes. A rose can pollo is always good here. That's a look at the menu. Here's a look at the guacamole though, that's huge. And then also the cheese dip, which is huge. So we got cheese dip, salsa, guac. Comment below on out of those three, what your favorite is. I'm thinking I'm gonna do this white enchiladas. Three enchiladas, one chicken, one shredded beef, and one cheese topped with melted cheese sauce. Served with rice, tomato, lettuce, and sour cream. So you made an audible at the last moment when she said, are you ready to order? So I wasn't able to show it. What'd you end up doing? Just the taquitos. Oh, nice. Nothing crazy. And also we just met a lovely couple that said they watch us and they were helping us out, find some new places to try. So again, we always say, what do we always say in public if you see us and we don't, you, we don't bite yeah say hello so you just got what the guac by itself you were you were about to go in with the sauce the cheese sauce with it did it alone they added all the normal stuff in there like i said you could get jalapenos you're just going plain guac right now drum roll good i know they're known for their guac so i'm glad it's good i do like their salsa we got the teas here the chips How's the, yeah, do the little, uh, can't really do a fry test here, so do a chip test. Nice and crispy. Another feature they have here, bendy straws. I'm a fan of that. They're half and half's good, I've, I've gotten it before. Of course, we've got really close to the screen here. Their salsa. It's not spicy at all, just regular mild salsa. Their cheese dip which I didn't do a consistency test, but it's actually pretty much a great consistency here. Yep. The cheese dip here is like one of my favorite things. And then the guac, which I don't know if I've ever tried their guac or not. Here we have it. That was good. Yep. With um, football season starting, we always start thinking about Super Bowl because they like having a lot of snacks and stuff. And we've had guacamole at Super Bowl before, but what might not be a bad idea is drive here, order some guac. It's already made fresh for you. You got it for the Super Bowl. It's a win-win. Wow, look at this. That didn't take very long at all. They said the plate is very hot, which when they say the plate's very hot, I've learned my lesson not to touch the plate. You know, it's one of those things where you want to touch the plate. I've learned my lesson because it is very hot. And over here, your taquitos. Those are huge. They look good. So beef, chicken, cheese. That cheese is loaded up. Now, if you've watched us for a little bit, you know I am a huge cheese fan, so the cheese actually might be my favorite. But all three are very good. Um, is that thunder? Yeah. Thunder outside. All three are very, very good. How are yours? Good. They look good. They're hot. They're hot. Now at El Mezcal, they always have large portions. So typically, if we weren't showing a video, we probably would have just shared but we wanted to show a couple different options today so we got a couple boxes and some bowls for the cheese and guac mexican's one thing i can do for leftovers the next day not a real big leftover fan but i can with this kind of stuff um i think we're gonna get some flan i love flan comment below if you like it timber is not a big fan of it i think it's a texture thing for you isn't it i like it here is a look at the flan we never usually get it at restaurants. She's laughing at me because I can't really say it that great, but um, no, you've said it so many times. trying to practice. <laughs> we'll give it a try. Is it the texture for you, Timber? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. That? Yeah. All right. I'm going to eat it and try it. I grew up eating custard pie, which is a lot like the same consistency, so I really like it. Timber can't. Can't do the consistency huh all right more for me i really like it i am slowing down though very extremely full we already have leftovers i'm gonna try to finish this here is a look at the final bill so the guacamole is ten dollars just so you know we had no idea how much it was um 
two iced teas, queso, everything, sixty-two seventy-six. So kind of more expensive, but we did get a lot of food. Next time we would just share a couple things like um, one entree and probably either the queso or the guac and not get dessert. We've been in and out of here for like 30, 30 bucks. All right. Back outside, looks like it uh, could rain, but we at least survived and can make it to the car without it raining. Oh, I felt a sprinkle. That was a refresh review at El Mezcal, and I am absolutely stuffed. I went in there saying I wasn't going to stuff myself. Most restaurants I go in saying I'm not gonna stuff myself. Most restaurants I end up stuffing myself. That's the first time that we've gotten the guac and dessert. And our own meal. That's true. Oh, oh that's why we share. A lot of people ask we why we share. Sure. We share because I don't want to stuff we myself. Care. We share because we care. That's right. Um, again, thank you to those that were in there that stopped by and they said hello. We appreciate that. And good staff in there. Everybody's quick and it's a really good spot. Like I said, in our opinion, best one here in Lake County. So if you are looking for a spot like that, definitely give it a try but just know that a uh, parking lot can fill up really fast. I mentioned don't park in the, even close to the Waffle House, they'll yell at you. Um, and just might have to park down, walk a little bit, but it's it's good, it's worth, worth it. So anyway, I think we're gonna call it. So with that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.